Today I'm gonna teach you how to do this epic loop DJ trick. Now this DJ loop trick is pretty easy to do on any DJ equipment and software and its application is pretty limitless. You can use it to start a DJ set or even use it as a transition tool to shift genres and BPMs. Now, before we get to the tutorial, let me just say that all the songs used in this video are available for download down below or right over here. Alternatively, you can download all my DJ edits for free by joining my YouTube membership program. There, besides getting access to all my DJ edits, you'll also get access to a ton of secret content, like my one hour long tutorial masterclass on scratching and a whole lot more. Anyway, before I start teaching you how to do this trick, let's first repair our song and settings. So let's load up the song we're going to use and pick a spot we want our song to start from. For this example, I want the song to start right about here because this is the most well-known section of the song. Now let's set our tempo range to wide and turn off key lock and master tempo. And now let's select our echo effect and set it straight to 1 over 4 and bring its dry slash wet knob to the 9 o'clock position. Now here's how to get that vinyl break stopping effect on Recordbox DJ and Serato. In Recordbox DJ, go to settings, then click controller, then at the vinyl speed adjust section, bring the touch slash break knobs of decks 1, 3, and 2, 4 to the 3 o'clock position. And in Serato DJ, go to settings, then at the DJ preferences section, bring the stop time now to the 12 o'clock position. Now with our track and settings set, let's now do this trick. So the first thing you want to do is set a loop at 1 4th at the section you want your song to start from. Next, bring the tempo fader all the way to the top. Then activate your echo effect and play your song at the same time and work on gradually bringing that tempo fader all the way to the bottom. Once you're there, deactivate the echo effect and stop your track at the same time. Then quickly bring the tempo fader to the neutral position. Then finally, trigger and play your song from the cue point you set a while ago. If you guys want to add more impact to this trick, I also suggest using a crash sound sample or sub drop sample when you cue and play your song. Now before I teach you guys how to do two variants of this routine plus how to use this trick to transition, let me just let you know that if you guys want to get more in depth DJ tutorials and courses just like this for free for like 3 months, go to skillshare.com with the links down below to get a premium membership for free. Now let's move on to implementing this DJ loop trick as a transition technique. So this technique is pretty simple but very effective when you want to shift through huge BPMs and change genres in an epic way. So all we have to do is echo out or vinyl break the previous track away, then do our DJ loop trick. So the first version of this routine is to use a filter effect when you reach the bottom of the tempo fader to really drive in this climactic DJ trick. The second version involves using the pitch C effects to increase the pitch of your loop even more. Mm -hmm. 
So to get the CFX setting on Recordbox DJ, go to settings, then at the effect panel section, select beat effects plus sound color effects. Then at the CFX section, select the one dot selection, then select user, then select pitch. And now you can do this. And that's it. Let me know if you guys want to see more content just like this. And with that said, I will see you all in the next one.